Ready. Yo, what up, fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Hey K, and this is Jason. <laughs> and today we are super excited to try the Daybok box, mm. the Snack Fever Daybok box. Mm -hmm. um, I've been wanting to try one of these Korean snack boxes for a really long time, and I finally got one. And I'm so excited to try all of them in front of you today. Mm. I don't know if I'm gonna like them all. I have She's water. Not. Pro tip. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I have water next to me just in case, and I hope I don't offend anybody if I don't like certain things. So I'm willing to try them all. And it's worth noting we do not speak Korean, so I apologize if we don't know the official title of things. I'm sorry if we don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ordered the box to try the snacky snacks, and I'm going to try my best. Okay? I'm going to get your snacky snack on. I'm going to get my snacks. <laughs> so we are just going to cracker open. None of these have been opened yet. We are trying them all in front of you for the first time. I know from buying the box that there's 11 things in here to try. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I don't know. I guess you, I just grab. It's all you, hey Kay. Okay. All right. What do you got there? These are called on the border and then Korean. <laughs> they look like bugles, but spicy. They do. They actually have pictures of bugles on them. Mm -hmm. We have a picture of a lemon. Mm -hmm. We have a picture of some peppers and what appears to be steak. With bugles. With bugles. So, I mean, how bad can this one be? Alright, what do they smell like? They smell like a Mexican dish. Ooh. They smell okay. good. They kind of smell like taco. -y. Actually, now that I see, there is a picture of a taco okay, that on the back it. of it. So. But why the steak? I guess they eat steak, steak tacos. tacos. Okay. Hmm. They're good. Very salty. Mm hmm. Very, very salty. But that is definitely something I can see myself grabbing a snack on. Yeah. By all means. Like, yeah, like those are actually like, like I would get those in the store for myself for a snack. They're actually a little bit bigger than normal bugles too. Think so? I think so. Not very much, but mm -hmm. well, I don't know actually. They have more um, seasoning on the outside of them for sure. You can By actually taste, like feel the powder. Mm-hmm. So, they're good. Very tasty. You can eat like more than one of them at a time for sure. Oh yeah. All right, so what would you rate your fat? Um, I would give this an honest, nine out of ten right now wow. i mean it's the first thing we've tried i don't know what's gonna get better mm -hmm. but right now first bite this is definitely nine out of ten i think it's closer to like a eight for me okay. probably 7.5 7.5 yeah okay cool yeah. I've, I've actually have some experience with korean snacks he does i don't so i know what to expect with some of them but mm -hmm. that is very good i've never had those before very 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 they're good. delicious what do you want to crack a lack next we'll go for something sweet chocolatey mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs> I wish I could give you more of what the names are on these, but they literally all are in Korean, so. Kaman Kancho. Is it must be like the mascot or something. They're absolutely adorable. They are. And I'm not even sure what to expect out of this. From the picture, what I'm seeing is chocolate with some the type cream. of cream in the inside, so. Break it open. Oh. Ooh. That's some genius packaging. You break it open and it's got a package inside of it. Push it a little. Break it open. Opening. What do we got? They. Mm. They smell. They smell like chocolate, bear, like Teddy Grahams. Oh, they do smell like chocolate Teddy Grahams. Mm -hmm. Great analogy. Something that people can relate to. Yeah. Aww. They have little characters on them. They're so cute. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and show them. It's so cute. Is that a thing. dice? I don't... Oh. Oh, they're dice. <gasps> Mine's a five. Is yours Mine's a four. Two? All right, you're ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Those are good. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, I think they're... See, the, the packaging makes it seem like it's like a creamy, like a smooth creamy, but it's actually more no. like a hard cream. Yeah. It's almost like an Oreo cream. It's legit so good. 
Give me another. Mmm. That's so good. Mm hmm Okay, what would you rate that one? I like this more than the first one. I'm a super chocolate freak, though. Yeah. This is like a nine and a half. I'd <laughs> give it a ten, but I feel like that's, you can't do that. You gotta be, you gotta be tiptoeing a little I bit. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, yeah, those are better than the first things for me, too. I'd say that's probably a solid 8.5. 8 cool. Very good, especially Very if you want something sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wanna go back to a salt? Yeah, let's go Doritos. These are Doritos? <laughs> Apparently. Some Doritos I've never seen in America, I don't believe. No. Is that another steak? This one, this one has steak, mushrooms, tomatoes, oh and boy. some type of seasoning. Are you gonna like that? You're not a big steak. This has global number one nacho chip. Okay, so it's another nacho? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Doritos. Doritos is nacho chips, technically. Mm. I think it's for Doritos advertising. I don't think okay. this flavor is necessarily the. I gotcha. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, they're more like Cheez-It sides. Like, I'm gonna show them. Yeah. They're like our American Cheez-Its. Yeah. Triangles anyways. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. They're very savory and sweet. Yeah. Wow. That is an incredibly rich flavor. Definitely mushroom, let me tell you. She's not about it at all. You're gonna try a second one? No. You're brave. I'll try a third one. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. That's not for me. I mean, it's not, it's really not like God awful. No, but. It just isn't my type of It's flavor. got a weird sweetness to it. It does. But like. So interesting, I don't It's know. such a deep sweet. I don't know how to explain it. It's I don't, savory was a good word. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how else I would describe it either, but. Wow. <laughs> Not what I expected at all. I'll tell no, you. No, I think that might have been part of the issue too, because like the first one was steak as well, so I was kind of expecting something similar to right. that. And it's a Dorito, which we obviously have here, right. so I right. was expecting more of it. This does not taste like a Dorito. By any means. No. <laughs> no. no. The fact that it's a Dorito is kind of like what? shocking and yeah. insulting. <laughs> exactly. So what would you rate this one? I would probably rate that for me, probably like a six. This is like a four for me. Sorry. <laughs> I just don't I don't like it that much, but it's not the worst thing I've ever had. But... Right. I get that. Okay. Um, um, that's going to be something sweet, I believe. These? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, once yeah. again, have no clue what this says. I'm so sorry. This is what the packaging looks like, though. Ooh, you're like a wafer cracker looking thing. All right, let's smell. Oh, it's like a stroopwaffle type style. Mm. It's as sweet smelling, is it? I don't think it's so much strip waffle because I think strip waffles are like a little, I don't know. It smells very sweet. It does. I'm excited. Less mm. sweet than I would expect. Mm hmm. It's almost like a very neutral flavor. Mm hmm. Vanilla y. Mm hmm. I love the texture. Uh huh. Like a lot. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Those are very good. Mm -hmm. It's like a morning snack almost kind of thing for me personally. Yeah. I know like Americans as a whole, we tend to eat very not breakfasty items compared to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of falls in there like a sweet biscuit. Mm -hmm. But it does remind me of like a breakfast snack mm -hmm. on the go. That's a good one. To me. I would get in trouble with those. Like mm -hmm. they're, they have that crunchy consistency that I love when I'm snacking, but they're also like not too sweet, but like just the right amount of sweetness to where like I could see myself eating like 30 of those at once. Yeah. They are snacking. dangerous. Yeah, is there more of that? There's a little bit more. This box also came with the second one. I don't know if this counts towards the 11 items. You uh -uh. know? Uh -uh. So we do have a second package of these that we can have later. I like that one. Oh wait, what, what would we rate it? Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. What would you rate it? I would give this one an eight. There's nothing like super fancy about it, but it's also yeah. really good. And it's something that I could like, if we, ha again, if we had these in the stores, I would purchase these and eat them. I probably would give it a seven and a half. Okay. Cool. Okay. What is that? Is that cheese? It has french fries on it. Okay, so it's. Look at the cute little potato guy. 
Okay, I'm guessing something like a, a veggie straw kind of thing. That's what I'm envisioning now, I could be wrong. I'm envisioning like, kind of similar to what you're envisioning. Look at the little... He's so cute, the little farmer potato. potato. Guy. All I can read on this the is... The back of this is Jagaby. Yep, Jagaby on the front too. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. What do you got for the smell test? It doesn't, it smells like potato chips. Very faint potato chips. Oh yeah. It looks like, okay, you should show an inside of this because it looks like McDonald's fries. It, wow, it does. It looks like McDonald's fries. That's so bizarre. Like they, they took them off the fryer, let them cool and package them. Oh my God, you're right. If they taste like them, I'm, it's done. Do they have the consistent, are they squiggle, like squishy? No, they're crunchy. Wow. Okay. It literally tastes like, like a French fry, like a McDonald's fry. Straight off the bat, wow, it does actually even the, after, the aftertastes. This tastes like a French fry, and you know how like old French fries taste disgusting? This has like the consistency of French fries that were sitting out for like five days, but they still taste fresh. Yeah. Like it's a very weird thing. They're very good. They're very good. I would and eat these like all the time. I would too. They're very salty, and I am all about salt. And this is, those are really good. Wow. Am I wrong about the consistency? No. They even have the burn marks like their McDonald's fries. Mmm. Holy good. I'm for it. <laughs> Alright, what would you rate it? Another eight and a half. This eight. one's close to a nine for me. Mmm. What a weird thing. Mm hmm So good. I would never think something like this existed. No. It really does taste like a mix between a McDonald's and Burger King fry cold. Mm-hmm. And not stale. Yeah. So like, good. I don't know, you get like the over like mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really good. He likes this one. <laughs> I do. Alright, how many more items we got in here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six more items. Oh boy, this one I think you're gonna be scared of. This is reminiscent of a fish shape to me. It actually says seasoned dried fish on it. This is not her jam, I can tell you now. It's shaped like a fish if you turn it to its side, and it kind of looks like fish scales. Well, yeah, you can do the honors on this one while opening it. Okay. You are not gonna eat this. Let me smell it. I want you to look directly in the camera as you smell this with your reaction <laughs> face. Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> you are not even gonna try it, are you? It smells okay. <laughs> it's gonna sound rude. It smells like fish and cat pee. She's not wrong. I will try it for the sake of this video, but just know I love you guys because I would never do this. I like seafood, FYI. I do not. I hate it. Wow. <laughs> I'm sad. It tastes like burnt fish a little bit. <laughs> That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> It gets worse as you go. I give us like a five. Like this is a straight up zero from me. It's not awful if you like fish. It's a nice snack. If you don't, me, but don't. <laughs> it's made with fish meal. Is that just ground up fish and then put into a paste? I'm going to assume eighty percent of it's fish meal. Uh, show them. It's kind of scaly looking. I'm not gonna eat any more of it, unfortunately. It is a five though. Thankfully it didn't leave too much of a bad taste in my mm. mouth though. Like I was expecting that to linger. Yeah, it's a very it's fleeting not. taste. Mm -hmm. It's like gone already in my mouth too. Like so. it was disgusting, but at least it didn't linger. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. Alright. Alright. You going for your last small back package? Yep. These look to me, sour. I mean it says sour on it, but even before I saw the sour, it looks like it's gonna be sour. It's got the little, little lemon guy. Yeah, the little puckered lips and he's like Ah, <laughs> You're gonna cringe. He's cute. I'm, I'm expecting like a warhead type thing where it's gonna be sour at first into sweet. 
If you've ever had a warhead, probably haven't have you. Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, I like those. Okay. Like, I don't love them, but like, you know, I like the sweet part a lot. Yeah. I like sour stuff though, so I'm not like too... Scared? No. That's scary. Depending on how fish. sour it is. Yeah. Do I you guess. want me to get put on my tongue first? I literally don't even have it opened yet. I just ripped the seal off and I can smell it. The acid. Like, I, I don't have it opened yet. That's gonna be... Spicy meatball. Oh yeah, my mouth is watering. Are they gummies? I think so. <gasps> oh, I'm pleasantly shocked. It smells lemony, sweet lemon. Yep, definitely. Ready? Are you taking the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mmm, pineapple? Mm. That's pineapple. Wow. I think that has... Tastes pineapple to me. First, and then it's not after. I'm not quite sure on the flavor, but it has vitamins, I think. B1, B2, B6? Yeah, those are vitamins, yeah. Neat. You must have been like a little bit. And 100 milligrams of something. Caffeine, maybe, maybe they're energy boosters. Maybe they're energy gummies. That very well could be. Mm -hmm. So about halfway through the video, we figured out that there is an app. Mm -hmm. That you Google have. Translate, essentially. Yeah. We can aim a camera at some of these texts and we can kind of decipher slightly. It's not very accurate. Yeah. But we did determine that this is indeed energy. A caffeine. Yeah, snack. it has taurine. Yeah. Which is um, a common ingredient in energy drinks. Such and as we obviously stuff. got it that it's chewy and yep. so Yep, chewy sour. Yep, so we got that off. So what would you rate this one? I would rate that like a nine point five for a, like a quick like Yeah, I would snack. give this a nine as well. I yeah. like I, the the energy thing is really cool. It has vitamins B one, B two, and B six in it as well. And it's chewy and it's not as sour as I was no, anticipating. Not at all. It's actually sweeter than sour. Yeah, it's definitely sweeter than sour, so Yep. Cool. Okay, so what we have left in here are all of the like bigger items that we got mm -hmm. in the box. So we have two things that we're saving for towards the end. So we're gonna try these two first. Um, what is one? Very, like, very bland packaging. I guess it showcases the item though. You know? Yeah, I think it's cute. It's got the little guys on it. Does that have little guys on it? Well, the little, the little cookies. The little guys. The little guys <laughs> the little are gonna guys. pop in our mouth. <laughs> I love them. Okay. Right, Another, see. yeah, will you pop it for me? I don't want to. Ah, thank you. Ooh, individual packaging. Ooh. Another thing you can show. Look, it's so cute. Adorable. All right, they have little open tabs too, so. Mm. Smell pretty good. I can already tell they're chewy based on the like the smell and the like, I don't know. Just the smell smells chewy. Yeah, it smells like a cookie. Yeah. Yep. Ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Is cheers. it good? Yeah. Mine's a little broken. Mmm. Mmm. Multi-layered. Mm-hmm. It's got a sort of snappy middle layer. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of something. Brownie? Tastes like a brownie. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like this is the most calorically dense item. Mm hmm But it's definitely meant to be eaten as a one-off. Like, you can't eat a box of these. This is like... No. Oh, God. Meant as like a one-time snack. Mm hmm As we eat 12 snacks. <laughs> All right, what would you rate that? This is a 10. That's a 10 for this you? This is a 10. This is a 10 of the box. I think this is an 8.5 for me. I could eat all of these. These are so good. They remind me of a brownie, and I can't place my finger on what else, but it just, it's like a cookie brownie, to put it simply, and it's mm -hmm. just, it tastes so good. Yep, very strong brownie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have three things left, and... We're gonna bust out the big boy. Yep, this is the biggest thing in the box. Cheese. Camembert cheese from Denmark. I see a little coffee cup there. It must be like a coffee cake. I'm guessing a cheese coffee cake. Yeah, it, it does have a, a slice of cheese and a lemon. I'm gonna go, or maybe that's an orange. I'm gonna go with, this is gonna be like a Danish. Okay. All right, let's bust it open. Whoa, we get quite a few of these in this box. Oh, snap. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Wow, they're soft. They're softer than I thought. On all edges. Okay. 
I'm so excited. They're very soft. Ooh, heavy cheese smell. I'm talking like Asiago smell. Ooh. Wow, this smells like Parmesan like and Asiago. Like all kidding aside. Mmm. It smells delicious. It does smell so good. I'm gonna show them. Wow. Is it good? For me it is. Ready? Mmm. This is by far the most interesting thing we've eaten. Oh, a hundred percent. It's cheese, it has like a cake-like soft texture, and the bottom, it has like a like a cheese press. That must be what all the cheese is. It's pressed into like almost like the bottom of like a, a American candy bar, like kind of like a nutty buddy bottom with the ridges, but it's like the cheese clearly with a cake on top of it. An orange drizzle on the top. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This is probably a 9.5 for me, probably almost my 10. Yeah? Yeah. I would rate this a nine as well. Like I said, easily the weirdest thing mm -hmm. we've had though. Hmm. It's not as dense as those cookies were, but mm -hmm. it's bigger than those. I feel like that's more filling too. Definitely. And like, I agree with still that it's like meant to be with tea or coffee. Yeah, morning, definitely. Yep. yep. And it's not overpowering sweet at all. It's actually like mm -hmm. just the right amount of everything. Mm-hmm. Looks good. And it tastes like it's gonna be a lot of cheese flavor to it, but it's not. Mm-mm, not at all. It's perfect, it's a perfect snack. You like that? Mm-hmm, a lot. What we have left are the two kind of like one-off different things. The rest of these are snacks. What we have left is a drink and a ramen cup. So we'll do the drink first and then we'll make the ramen cup. We'll come back, back to you. In. So this is the drink. <laughs> um, I'm going Full disclosure, if this is coconut, I will not try it. Yeah, if it smells even the slightest. But I already have a feeling, regardless of what it smells like, she's not going to like it. If it's coconut, though, I, um, pardon people that probably don't know this, coconut is my least favorite flavor in the whole world, and I would probably like, like, I don't like fish, but I tried it for the video. Coconut, there's no sense in me trying it, because I will hate it no matter what, and I'll it. likely vomit. I probably should shake it, right? Be safe. It's not carbonated, or is it? No. I don't think it's not coconut, but I don't think she's gonna try it based on the smell yet again. <laughs> it. It smells like mold. It smells like mold. Yeah, I'm perplexed. Perplexed. <laughs> Little people on it. I know the people are cute. It's a cute little bottle. Well, I'm gonna try it. You're going first? Yeah, because I don't think you're gonna wanna go first. I'm gonna try it. Is I like I said, as long as it's not coconut, I can try it. The taste doesn't nearly come close to what it smells like. It actually almost tastes like a sort of pastry, like snack it tastes like a like a a cracker almost it's like it's weird it doesn't taste anything like it smells no it doesn't but no just no i don't like it yeah but you're right it doesn't taste like what it smells like at all no i don't know what it tastes like there's no sweetness to it almost at yeah, it has a little sweet, not much though, like you said, and then milky, milky, and like a, like some sort of breading slash cracker to me is what I'm getting. And then like, yeah, I don't know, and then almost like not seafood, but like it has like a foreign taste to me. Fishy smell, taste yeah, almost. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not a zero like no, the fish not. was. It's probably a two for me. I'll give it a two. Just I think it's on, like a four for me. Four? Just yeah. on personal preference, it's just... Like, I would drink it if I was like in the mood for it and like it was regularly like available. Yeah, I feel like that's one of those like, the fish thing would never happen for me. It's I don't like fish, I'm not going to like fish, it's mm. not gonna happen. But that, like I feel like if that was available to us, if it's something that I've grown up with as a child, yeah. then it would be something that like I'd probably jump for. Definitely. You know? Definitely. It's just a preference thing because I've never had it. it does it, Like I said, it tastes 
right foreign-y. Yeah. I don't know. Now, once I, now, when I say, like, it doesn't taste sweet, like, that's by the American palate, I'm sure that is much higher sweetness than anything else. Probably. So, like, this is probably, like, deadly sweet to them almost, I imagine. Maybe. Because it is a little sweet, and like you said, I can imagine kids jumping up and down for this thing. Yeah, it's cute. It is cute. It's good. It's, like mm-hmm. I said, I would drink it if it was regular, readily available. Yeah. I wonder what the nutrition on this is. I know, like, if it's awful for you, if it's, like, more healthy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All right. Last thing. So all we have left is the ramen cup. And obviously we have to go make this. So we'll catch you in a minute. We will go make this and be back. (laughs) Ta-da! We're done. All right. First things first for me. It smells like me a little bit like star anise slash like black licorice smell. I'm not a fan of it. It has a little bit of um, steak bites in it. The noodles are very thick and I actually dig that. They, yeah, they look like very good. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks very hot. Be careful. Smells a little spicy. Looks a little oily. Yeah, it does look oily. I'm not sure if I should have drained it. It didn't look like I should have drained the water. I microwaved on it. It yeah, is a microwave there's pictures, bowl. There's pictures on the side that kind of show you how to... Without being able to read. Right, 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 right. I've, I've actually eaten quite a bit of Korean ramen. Yep, he loves Korean ramen. It's hot. Don't want to burn my lip. Uno momento. <laughs> You look confused. Probably one of the spicier things you've had, huh? You gonna get it some water? <laughs> Doesn't water make it worse? Yeah, you should be taking drinking like milk or something. Drink some of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love spicy ramen, so that's mild. That's serious. I'm not even kidding you. That's mild. My tongue is tingling. That's mild, I promise you. My tongue is tingling, ladies and gentlemen. That's not bad. That ain't no freaking top ramen chicken. No, that's good, though. Wow. Ooh, I'm getting... First things first, like he said, it is very good. Under the tingling of my tongue and lips, I can taste the flavor of it. The flavor of it is really good. It tastes a little beefy. Mm-hmm. The sauce is good. I love all that. I could never in a million years eat a whole thing of that, though, for a couple reasons. First off, my tongue is tingling. Second off, I have acid reflux slash GERD. Oh, boy. So that would mess me up if I had more than a couple bites. I'm going to do one more bite. You're going to try one more? Yep. Okay. The, the noodles are, like, stickier. I actually prefer it. They're stickier, they're thicker, they're harder for, like, when, like, you eat ramen that we have here, like, you can just, like, slurp it up. You can't do that. You have to, like, nom it. Yeah. But yeah. They are very good though. It's very good. Yeah. Yeah, I do like it a lot. I think the second bite actually felt a More. little less hot. That's too. the trick with them too. When yeah. they were super spicy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, this is that tasted more beefy flavorful than it did yeah. hot. Yeah. For me, like this is like probably like a seven on spiciness scale. Like compared to what I've had from them usually. Like I've had full tens and like elevens. Yeah, that's but this is not that's good. a nine on the spicy for me. Yep. Because it is the first that's the first Korean ramen bowl I've ever had. So. Yeah. So but it's super good though. I love the flavor. I'd give the flavor an eight. Yeah, not bad for a microwave like ramen bowl, but yeah, it's probably like an eight point five for me. It like you said, it's very tasty underneath all the spiciness. It's, yes. That's good. Agreed. Our boxes. Let me see. Empty. Ta-da. Ta-da. Yes, I would like to thank the Daybox box. Um, I have wanted to try these forever. I will put a little link with their Instagram and their website so you guys can go and check them out. Um, you can subscribe monthly to them for a snack box, and it's called a Fever Snack Box, and you can get it every single month. I think it was $40. Right? About that. About 40 40 well, 45 bucks. $40. <laughs> um, if you go Ships directly for, from Korea. Yes, it does ship directly from Seoul, Korea. It says on the box. And um, you can do like a three-month or a year, yep. and it will take some money off of it, but we wanted to just try one for our first time. So... Um, so yeah, I really super enjoy this. I would love to do this again in the future. I would even be willing to try other places, Jap- yep. Japan, um, mm-hmm. I don't know, anywhere. We'll have to look into it more, but this was super fun. It and was I would love fun. to try more adventurous things in the future. And so what would you say your favorite was? My favorite, yep, sour gummies are probably up there as well as the cheese, the cheese like crap, like cake things. These little cookie boys, the brownie cookie things are my favorite. And I did really like 
the cheese things too. So yep. perfect. Yeah, I'm really excited to snack on this now and enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing down below. So we know if you want us to make more of these videos in the future, we would super duper appreciate it. Bye guys. See you guys.